What's up everyone, Adam from Cape Crawlers, and today we're checking out the brand new Crawler Tracks modular crawler course setups. Welcome back to the channel everybody. We've got a fun video for you today. We're taking a look at the brand new Crawler Tracks modular crawler course options here. Now if you're familiar with the channel, you know that I've got a pretty extensive indoor course setup. And I built that because I couldn't really find a lot of other alternatives and I knew I needed something to crawl with during these harsh New England winters. But the pre-built things that are out on the market I found were really expensive and just couldn't justify the purchase price. But now we've got some new options from the Hangar RC. Crawler Tracks from the Hangar has developed these brand new modular wooden course obstacles. And at $30 or $40 an obstacle, they're much more affordable than other options out there. So this is going to be an awesome option if you're looking to set up a small indoor crawler course, if you're just looking for something that you can take with you or just have fun in a tight space. These things are awesome. They showed up today. I'm super excited to get into this. They came in really nice thin packages. They're precision laser cut into sheets of wood. You just punch out the obstacles. You piece them together like puzzle pieces, like 3D puzzle pieces almost, and then you're ready to rock and roll. So Axel and I assembled these earlier and I got some cool footage of that of him and I putting them together. So why don't we take a look at the assembly footage and then I'll show you these things all put together. We'll take a closer look at them and then we'll put some rigs on them and do some crawling. Let's get it. So let's take a look at our obstacles here. So we have three of the five. These three are available. Two more are coming, but for this video, we've got our hands on this initial trio here. So let's take a look at the ones that we've built today. So this first one is called the Wave, and this is actually modeled after an obstacle in Utah. Let me preface by saying this is my favorite. And you can probably imagine why, is because it has this awesome undulating terrain which lets you get massive flex and articulation out of your rig. At the highest point, it's got a three inch drop. I think it's even more than three inch drop. So you get crazy flex and articulation on this obstacle. It's super cool. This is one of those things that's just mesmerizing to watch the rig go up and down, up and down, you know, over and over and over again. This is my favorite by far. So it's very cool. You know, it's got these tracks that go on either side. It has a multi-point adjustable base. So you see it's got these extra slots along the side here. So you can pop these tracks off and you can move them further apart or you can shift them. You can, you can alternate the obstacle to make it more challenging, switch it up, just make it different. One of the things, this one, I did have to be very cautious with this because bending this wooden piece here for the tracks was pretty tedious. I think I broke one at the top here, it's hanging on, but you just gotta be careful with that, you know, just trying to bend that wood around some of these pretty serious arches, but it held together. Yeah, this one came out perfect. It still works perfectly fine. I'm super happy with it. Next is the frame bender. So this is a cool one. This is another kind of alternating undulating pattern here. It's got some pretty gnarly approach angles over here. It's really gonna test your approach angle. It's got a real steep approach on this side, even more so on this side. Now this one is cool because you see it's got five of these individual pieces. So you can pull these out and you can make it more challenging if you wanna have less traction, bigger drops in between pieces. You can do that. You can just pop these things in and out and customize it. Again, I think that's really cool. This one's real solid, real simple to put together and definitely a nice piece here. I like this one a lot too. This is broken bridge. This is very cool. This is like a seesaw here. So you can see it's got this beat up looking bridge here in the middle. It's all open. So it forces you to take a pretty narrow line up through here. I really like that the pieces are cut out like a rickety old bridge. It's very cool and you know, combined with the burn marks from the laser cuts on this. I think it just looks really cool. It has 
these metal washers in it that are your counterweights. So when you go off the obstacle, it resets itself for whoever's behind you or when you want to come back around to it. This is also really cool because it has multiple settings for difficulty. So you can pop this out. And if you can see here, it has two different settings in here. So you can set it on the lower set here if you want less of an incline or you can put it on the top one if you want a really steep and challenging incline. So that's really cool right there. This is a fun one. This is a little more technical to install than the others because you do have to glue on some of these circular pieces to the bridge, but you know that's that's very very simple. And once put together, it works really well. I like this one a lot cuz it's a seesaw was one of the things that I wanted to put on my indoor course and I never got around to it. So now having this modular one that works so well, this is perfect. So why don't we get some rigs on these and I'll show you them in action. All right, now let's have some fun with this thing. So I've got the AX24 out. I figured this would be a great one to try on these with all the articulation and everything. So let's get after it. I alternated this. You can see I changed the position on these to get us more articulation and more challenge here. So this is going to be fun. Look at the wicked approach angle on that side over there. Huge axle drop there. I fell off the course a little bit in the middle. Still did it though. This would be really challenging with a stock rig. Because these these alternating spots are no joke. This is some serious articulation needed here. Look at that thing stretch. I love this obstacle. Fell off again there, though. So good. So I broke out the SCX24 Bronco. I was having a little trouble with the AX24 because I can't trim the rear servo, and that's why I keep falling off the course. So we're going to try the Bronco here. Look at that. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, that's so cool. I could do this for hours. Let's try out the frame bender here. The AX definitely does good here with that approach angle because it's all tire in the front.
Now let's try the old broken bridge. Here we go. So let's take a look at what a less modified rig would be like on these things. I've got the budget build Gladiator. So we'll see how this does. This is gonna have much less approach angle, less articulation. I gotta hold it here. There's one thing I wish these had was a little more, maybe a rubberized footing on these things because I find that my crawlers, when we run into them, pushes the obstacle away could really use some more stickiness on the bottom. Whoa, we're getting quite the lean. Oh man, I think it's gonna do it. I'm impressed, I didn't think I'd be able to get through that. Oh, that's good. Oh, the gladiator gets way up there before it tilts. Oh. <laughs> so final thoughts on the crawler tracks obstacles. I think this is a great option if you're looking for a modular course setup that you can put in your living room, you can put in the kid's bedroom, you can put in the garage, you know, on the workbench, wherever. The portable and the modular nature of these things is awesome and they're a ton of fun. Love the versatility of these things, especially love the wave. Man, the articulation that you get out of this thing. I could have played on this for hours. And then being able to move the sections in different directions, make it more or less challenging, I think that's a great feature. I love on the broken bridge too, how it has multiple difficulty levels. So you can set the bridge down for a lesser incline and up for a more intense incline. I think a lot of thought went into these and it's evident by how they're built and the quality and the structure. Just a really cool product. Now I just showed you guys the 24th scale running on these things, but I did have the TRX 4M on these earlier and that worked really well. The 18th scale I almost think does better on these just because it's, it's bigger, 
certainly handled the wave better because it's got a longer wheelbase and was able to handle those big drops a little more but I didn't run into any challenges with the width I had the big blue gladiator on it and even with that extremely wide track it was able to use all the obstacles stay on the tracks and have a lot of fun with it now I do think there's a lot of value here each piece is around $40 so the bigger pieces the broken bridge and the wave are 40 the frame bender is 30 so all three of these things together are about $130 to put that in perspective it cost me about $150 to build each 4x4 four four square of my indoor course so it's a little less money to get these modular obstacles but you got to think there's no mess there's no dirt there's no styrofoam there's no paint there's very little cleanup and no hassle if you want to move it so I think there's a lot of bang for the buck here with these modular obstacles. I think the only complaint I have about these is that I'd like to have something on the bottom of them to make them a little more grippy. Like I said earlier during the run footage, I just found myself pushing up against them and pushing the obstacle away from me rather than getting a good grip onto the obstacle itself. So I'd like to see some more grip on the bottom. I can easily do that myself. But that's just one kind of nitpicky thing that I'd like to see on here. Otherwise, they held up really well thus far. The fit and finish seems really good. They were easy to put together, and they seem really solid. So I'm really happy with them overall. So great job by Crawler Tracks getting these things out. These are a really fun option if you're looking for an indoor course or a modular course, like I said. Definitely recommend them. I'll put the link down below for the Hangar RC website, which is where I got these. Sam over there, big shout out to Sam. He's a great guy. He's been a lot of fun to work with during this process. And I'm really grateful for him to send these over for us to check out. Let me know your thoughts down below. What you think of these obstacles? Which one was your favorite? You know what mine was for sure. Definitely want to hear from you guys. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.